Hello and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. Today in this video you will learn how to create a beautiful and professional slider for your WordPress website absolutely for free. You can consider this plugin as a free alternative to the slider revolution plugin which is very heavy and this plugin is very lightweight and SEO friendly. Using this plugin you can create amazing looking slider for your business, e-commerce or any other website. We will see how we can do animations and customization in this slider and we'll see how we can make this mobile friendly and responsive and we have a number of free ready-made templates that we can import with one click and beside the templates we also have free stock images background patterns icons that we can use absolutely for free and for creating this slider we will be using this website this is an e-commerce website that i created in one of my previous video so if you need a e-commerce website you can watch my previous video and for creating the slider we will be using this free plugin called Defector. The only wolf slider you will ever need. So Defector is a modern versatile visual slider editor with drag and drop live editor. You can download this plugin for free and if you scroll down you will see this. From start we can start from scratch or we can import a template. Then we can design the template according to our need. We can change background, text, images. We can animate things like icons, arrows, shapes and so on and then in the last we can just publish this. If you scroll down you will see some ready made templates that we will explore later in this video and uh, why use depictors. So here as you can see pre-domain design. We can design the slider the way we want. And this has a comprehensive assist library as you can see we have stock images, shapes, videos, controls, buttons, typography and some ready made headings and so on. And this is flexible, loud and responsive so you can make our slider responsive and mobile friendly. We have animation and interactivity which we can control with clicks or hover. We have versatile video player in which we can embed self-hosted videos, YouTube videos or Vimeo videos. And this is super lightweight and SEO friendly. And we have comprehensive navigation controls that we will discuss later in this video. And uh, if you go to templates. And as you can see professional built templates. You can even this filter with your own category and you can search for a specific slider as well. And if you scroll down you will see a number of templates that are professionally designed and you can import these with one click. So just to show you I'll explore a few of these. I'll open this one. So here you can notice the animations and the text animation button and you can see the mouse you can slide it like this even this will work with touch and we have arrows as well and this is another one you can see the animations of the text icons and images we have this type of controls here and obviously you can change the background the text images and so on this is another one which is looking very nice. This is for furniture shop. And uh, we have this type of controls. You can notice the animations really awesome and smooth. And this is another one about company and services. We have dot sale. And this is another one. And finally we have this one which include a video. So we can display our video here and uh, we have this animation and so on. So these are some of the ready-made templates that you can import with one click. And now let's see how we can create a slider using this plugin. So to install this plugin we will go to our WordPress dashboard and here we will go to plugins add new. You can download this plugin directly from the WordPress repository or from their official site here. So click on download. Now you can go to plugins and you can upload that plugin. So choose file and select that plugin. Install now and then activate. And once you activate the plugin, you will see another menu here, Depictor. So just go there. 
and now here we can create a slider or we can import a slider so let's start by importing a template and i'll show you everything that you need to know so if you click create slider this will show you all the templates that i showed you earlier in this video you can again filter with your own category or you can scroll down and you can select any of these so let's say i want to use this one i'll just click import and this will import the whole slider for us that we can now customize now before customizing let me show you a quick overview of the panel that we have here so on the left side we have photos here we have millions of stock photos with categories that we can import with one click and if you need a specific one you can search for that as well for example you need for shopping you can click on this and now you can use all these royalty free images for your slider again if you close this and you go to texture and patterns you have these patterns that you can import and you can use them as background again you can go back and choose backgrounds and you can use all of these images for free and there are so many categories that you can use and you can explore and the next thing here is the text so we can add text or slider from heading subheading or body text or we have some ready made designs that we can import with one click just click on it and this you can drag this over here and you can use this you can customize then we have videos so we have royalty free videos that we can use and we can embed our own videos let's say you need a video for sunrise you can click on this and this will show you free stock videos that you can use these are absolutely for free we have shapes and vectors so we can also use these shapes in our slider and we have buttons so you can design your own buttons or you can just drag these and then you can customize these and the last one here is the control so we have arrows dots and combination of these that we can use you even have mouse scroll down indicator as you can see so this was the lift panel and this is the main slider which you can see and you can customize here you can delete or duplicate things you can play the animations to see the animations and then you can switch to tablet or mobile view then you can navigate to the next slider and then you can customize that and on the right we have the properties panel so for example you click on text this will show you everything related to the text where you can change the position the width the color the font family boldness alignment text transform and so on if you click the image this will show you image properties and options for that you will even have animations for that you can set animation in animation out you can set the position delay and you can even notice the animations so this is the panel and now let's see how we can customize the slider for example i want to change the text i can click on it and then i can change the text investing and in your knowledge and your future so you can write anything here same goes for this text you can just double click this and you can change the text you can click on the button and then you can go to design and here you can change the button background and the border radius you can make this rounded button and so on and you can also click on arrows and then you can change its color and so on i'm not going in much detail because the video will get lengthy but this is just to show you that how you can make the slider you can even click on the icons and you can change its animation its how effect and its color now let's say you want to change the image you can click on it you can go to stock images and now you can search for any image and you can bring your own image here for example let's search for school boy instead and let's choose this one so i can drag this and this is now on my background as you can see but that is not what we need so to go back you can just click here or just press ctrl z we want to only replace this one so you can drag this and now you can see the blue border on the image so just release the image now this will replace that image now if you want to resize this crop this just double click this and now you can move this around for example we want to show that much so you can bring the image and then you can click outside of it and then that's it 
So this is how you can change the images. You can change the image here. You can change here and you can also change the shapes. You can add more arrows, more shapes and so on. And now to preview this on mobile, you can click on mobile view. And as you can see, this is completely responsive and mobile friendly. And if you go to tablet, this will look like this. So this is completely responsive slider and if you want to publish this, you can just click on publish. Click publish changes. And now to display this slider, you will need to copy its short code. And now you can use this short code everywhere on your website using Gotan Market Editor, Elementor, Daisy, and so on. So let's see how we can display this. We will go back to our dashboard. And here you can see we have this slider with school one name. You can create multiple slider if you need. Now let's create a new page. And uh, let's give it a title like this. And now to add the short code, you can click on this plus. This is Gutenberg editor, and you can search for short code and paste that short code. Let's publish the page and let's view the page. And here, as you can see, we got the slider. Now the page layout is disturbed, but you can customize the page before the slider. This was just to show you how you can display the slider in Gutenberg. And now let's see how we can add this in Elementor for example. So let's edit the page. So we will remove this and we'll update the page and we'll edit it with Elementor. And here we can change the page layout. So we will choose Elementor full width. And uh, here we can display the slider by two methods. One is to use shortcode and then we can paste that shortcode which will display our slider and uh, we can also search for depictor so you can see depictor slider you can just drag this let's remove the short code and we have this slider and here you can choose a slider we only have one slider so we'll display that and now we got the slider and you can also create multiple slider and you can display different slider on different pages and for the settings you can also edit the section and then you can make this pull width and the content width will be pull width and the column gap will be no gap now if you update the page preview this then this is our slider So this was how you can create a professional and good looking slider for your WordPress website absolutely for free which you can display in normal Gutenberg or Elementor page builder. So I hope you have learned something new in this video. If you have any questions you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.